judged Walsh. Should all good part Jim Edwards. Picked up by Simon Madden out to Harvey. Harvey steadies. Kicks it long. Watson. Kennedy a great punch. Should have marked it actually, I guess. Boots it downfield and Simon Madden, unless it's an awkward bounce, it's a good one for you. He'll kick it down to Elshaw. Nobody with him. Rod McPherson late on the scene. Did it pretty well. Picked up by Kennedy. And Kennedy once again playing a brilliant second term. Kicks it down to Wallace. It's a beautiful kick to Wallace just inside the boundary line. Hawkins in front. Spoiled by Walsh. And the ball goes out of play. And Kevin Walsh really living up to the reputation given him by coach Kevin Sheedy. He was a rap for him before many other observers were, but he's playing a fine game today. Madden against Sewell. It comes down to Edmund. Down to the forward pocket. Bandit. Les Bandit's kicked two already. He burns on five. His opponent in. Kicks his. I think it's a goal. Umpire making sure of it. It's a hat-trick to Les Bandit. And Footscray have hit the front by that goal. In comes Roger Merritt, beaten by Purser. More free kick to Royal twice. Royal eighth kick. Been the best rover on the ground by a long, long way. Walsh, been a fine centre half back. Excellent mark. Chris Gray looking the better side at this stage, leading by a goal, 15 metre. Kevin Walsh now can send it in the direction of his captain, and his captain marks it. Terry Danaher, centre of the ground. Across he goes, past Watson for Madden. Madden recovering. Well, hard by Steve Wallace to meet Madden like that. Elsewhere intercepts. Wallace, well played, delightful. Out to Hawkins. Bamlett, there's a wrestle on behind play. Bamlett taps to the back, chance for Sewell. Loping after him is uh, Merritt. The centering kick. Sewell scores! Oh, it bounced across the face of goal for a behind. And there's Edmund, Jim Edmund. Edmund Fowles and Walsh having a private war while the play went on. Short pass to Harvey from Weston. Umpire James says, no, we haven't really stopped the brawl properly yet now let's get settled and Paul Weston is forced to kick out once again out the direction of Hawker it's a beautiful kick Hawker hasn't got a soul to kick to Baker gives him a lead and it's accepted brilliantly oh Baker bad miss hooks it back Dana has got two against him down it comes to roving well Williams kick it kicks it wide Simon Madden Good mark. A good tumbling mark by the big fellow. Mark number five. Oh, great kick. Great kick to Elshaw. Or is it? Or is it? Heard. Heard, yep. Well, Shane Heard, who doesn't often get the opportunity to shoot for goal, will certainly take his time, and that was nice play by Madden. Heard, who's learnt the business of blocking and minding very well and can also pick up kicks comes in for his eighth kick his opponent today Stephen McPherson the difference is one goal one puts gray in front Hurd's kick looks good to me the difference is one point now with puts gray five seven to Esmond five six 18 minutes gone, second quarter, and a real fight for supremacy here. One point the difference. Comes out to Hawker, who's just come back on the ground. High kick, barely 10 metres. Williams marks onto Clark. Centering kick for Baker. Shaw sure handling this time. He's caught by his opponent. Goes to Thompson. Good gather, Watson. Partly blocked the hand pass. Wallace has been a star for Footscray. Out to the wing to Royal. Two Bansdale boys. Away goes Brian Royal, a former state rover. A great pass to Beasley. Well, I don't know about that, Gary Folds. That's a bit rough. And it's a 15-metre penalty. No. 
Weston standing the mark. And that's the first decisive time that uh, Simon Beasley has led down the ground and marked like that. This is his second kick. And a straight one would put the Bulldogs seven points in front. 55 metres. Not bad. A mark right on the line. It's just through for a score. Footscray by two points. That's a big kick of Simon Beasley's. A very short one to Nell. To Nell to Donnell. And then kicks it downfield to centre wing where Terry Danaher and Neil Cordy gave Danaher the leap. A great effort. Oh, pay it. Oh, pay it. Wants it in strongly. Good tackle. Danaher. Nicely all missed by Clark. Back it goes to Williams. Williams then boots it down towards centre wing and Baker in great position. Plays on. Lost it. Ezard. Lightning hand pass to Elshaw. Back it goes to Baker. Baker then sends it down looking for Harvey. Baxter's with him. Harvey beats him and kicks a goal. Missed it. Missed it. And he beat him so well. The difference, one point. Rick Kennedy. Easy, easy. Into Ezard's behind the shoulder. Kicks it back quickly looking for Madden. That doesn't help Madden because he hasn't got the pace, the big fellow. Did it brilliantly. Well played to Waterson. Waterson shoots and puts it through. Well, Simon Madden, four marks. Great team play. He could so easily have given up. It was a great lesson in Desperado. He did it brilliantly. Gave the chance to Waterson who puts it through. Goal number two to Chris Waterson. Really a high scoring game in the conditions, but a real contest. Hawkins out of the middle. Bamford at centre half forward. He's got Sewell going past, had to turn on it, but takes the mark. And about 15 metres closer to goal than Bamford was. Jim Sewell's managed only two behinds, taking over the centre half forward spot. And his opponent's been Walsh, who's beaten him. 40 metres, Jim Sewell. Good kick. Empire soars. Merritt with his strength, but knows as the umpire. Merritt says, what have I done wrong? Purser. Jim Edmund in front. Folds his opponent. Waterson. Watson. Who almost played it. Well played, Purser again. Threw it. He did throw it. Free kick goes to Neil, uh, Terry Danaher. He wants to find Madden. Oh, it's too wide for him. Nice soccering by Hawkins. Hardy does some shepherding. Hawkins, therefore, can get away nicely. Left foot it perfectly down to Wallace. Wallace has been a good player. He's beaten Watson. And Wallace on centre wing position. Tenth kick coming up for Steve Wallace. Really giving them something from the centre. Up to half forward. Edmund goes up and follows up. But Walsh corners him near the boundary line and takes it out for a throw in. Half forward flank for the Bulldogs, who lead 44 to 43, 24 minutes second quarter. Leeds changed three times in this quarter, which is a brilliant football, or exciting football. Williams downfield. Doug Hawkins will go the leap and Denner up above him. As Hawkins chasing it over the line. Magnificent physique for a winger as Douglas Hawkins out of bounds it is. Verso number one, Merritt 25. Merritt still going through. Off the ground, Danaher. Oh, lucky, Ezard. Madden unmarked at centre half forward. Not the best kick in league football, Simon Madden. This will test him. 50 metres. Slide breeze behind. That proves it. Oh! Thompson, he couldn't believe his luck and bobbled it. Rod McPherson gets knocked over by Izzard and will take a free kick. Shocking miss. Rod, Rod McPherson down towards brother Stephen. His brother's a, a 
I really like to play to each other. He's over the line when he took the mark, so therefore the penalty is against them, taken by Hawker. Hawker downfield. He Dana has got a lot against him there. He took it away, brilliant, did Baker. Look out, Harvey, caught by Hardy. Picked up by Malin. Malin short passes out towards the boundary line, not good enough, it bounces over the line, out of bounds. Madden may be paying the penalty for uh, that shocking kick, or whether it's just time or not, but here we are at the 25 minute mark, and Simon Madden off, Vanderhaar back on the ground. Purser wins this, and comes out with clean possession, puts it out in front of McLean. Hand pass to Wallace, he's cut them to pieces, over the top of Sewell, he can go a bit more and kick the goal himself. Good kick, Beasley's there. Off the fingertips and through for a behind. Really, perhaps Sewell should have scored from where he was. And there's his very redoubtable opponent, Paul Weston, kicking out, looking for Merritt. Well done, Wallace, to frustrate him. Merritt's played a poor game, actually. Picked up by McLean. Kick is smothered. Come on, Timothy Watson. Onto his right foot. Kicks it well so often he does out to Danaher back to Watson I thought it would have been on Danaher didn't do it out wide it goes and running with it Hawker misses badly Vanderhaar will get him out of trouble Vanderhaar kicks it poorly back downfield Baker from behind with Kennedy backs for in to help Kennedy kicks off the ground to Hardy Hardy fumbles too kick off the ground is very intelligent football and just missed it was done by Darren Williams she that was close One point the difference again. Footscray in front. The kick in. Brian Cordy, good lead. He's been a good player. Had Vanderhaar taken off. Cordy, a good pass to Malin. Malin up towards half forward. Goes to the back to Royal. He's going to get the free. Now told to play on. Royal in the direction of Beasley. Bahagia waits. Spills to Bamblett. Donnell. Eventually Elshaw. McQueen's got pace. Look out. Oh, that was a good chase. Sets up Malin. Edmund leads. Great football, Footscray. And Edmund marks and set a half forward. He's just the man to kick a long one, is Jim Edmund. Kicks it high to the 10 metre square. Beasley and again Weston just shoulder to shoulder has played the perfect backman's game. Off their fingers it goes through for one behind. Footscray by two points. 27 minute mark. Neil Cordy back to full forward. Beasley in front. He's got it. Well, that time Weston was behind. Now he can do about it. And Beasley, who's got conditions that he would really know about because it's almost like Perth weather, is coming up for his third only kick. He's kicked two behinds. Dying stages of the first half. Only 30 metres out. He's missed it. Jesus. Three behinds to Beasley. Taken three fine marks, too, as Beasley. Now, Danaher, always oh, pushed and shoved by Cordy, but pushed and shoved successfully. Cordy with it. And a free kick to Cordy, who's really played very well against Neil Danaher. Terry Danaher. Short. Stephen McPherson, good leap. Beasley, tackled. Royal, great little player, hooks it back for goal and rounds it through. And the siren for half time. That was right on the siren, and Footscray have a nine point lead. 7 11. That's by umpire Rowan Soares to start the second half. Nine points, Footscray in front. Comes back to Persa. Drives a 40 metre kick to centre half forward. Bamford, great punch on. Bahaja skirts around onto the right boot. 
It still won't make it, I don't think. Yes, it does with the help of Beasley. A goal in the opening 15 seconds of the second half. Bahaja's eighth kick and his second goal. Les Bamblett is um, in that incident as well. He's been very constructive whenever he's near the ball. It's been dynamite for the opposition. Umpire Glenn James. And Purser's taking a giant run. It bounces towards him. Madden goes and takes it away from him. Harvey's got the chance. Goes to the ground. Good strong play there by Donnell. Taken by Royal. 13th possession. Over the back it goes, and here come Bahaja and Thompson. Thompson can give it across to Foles, but he decides to give it down to Waterson, which was clever. Waterson to Foles. Foles now, these left foot kicks it badly, straight to Persa. Madden's got a chance. Out to Donnell. Donnell hooks it back, and it's a good well done to Baker, to um, Ezard. Ezard across. Baker this time. Baker looks for Van der Hale, the perfect pass. Go, Van der. Didn't quite make it. Oh, he's fumbled badly. And Hawkins kicks off the ground, and Footscray will be out of trouble. Through Brian Cordy to centre wing. Sewell gets an awkward bounce. Walsh has started at centre half back. Hawkins. Not getting too many leads. Oh, he's gone a long way. Penalised for running too far. Free kick to Malin. Nice pass to McLean. McLean will look for Beasley. Beasley and Weston, shoulder to shoulder. Beasley! Mark number four. Well, he's kicked three behind, but he's taken four very good marks. They've got to be good because Weston has worn him like a glove. Shoulder to shoulder and played a perfect back man's game. But Simon Beasley has a grand opportunity now to kick his first goal from about... 35 metres out, he has this habit of coming back a long, long way from the man on the mark before he comes in to kick. Here he comes. The stockbroker kicks for goal and did it, did it, did it, just. Whoa. Well, he's deserved a goal. And that's goal number 24 for the season. Weston's conceded only just that one goal. He gave Taylor only one last week. Footscray have jumped out to a 21-point lead in the opening couple of minutes of the third quarter. McLean trying to struggle out of that pack. Takes a high tackle. Well played, Michael McLean. He delivered the final pass to Beasley for his last goal. And this is a good one, too. And Sewell marks at half four. All Footscray in the opening couple of minutes of the third quarter. Sewell's sixth kick. He's had his problems with Kevin Walsh. Nothing forthcoming. Got to do something soon. Beasley a long way from goal, and the kick a bit short of him. Heard well done. Beasley off the ground. Great hand pass to Wallace. Open goal coming up for Steve Wallace. But well blocked by Madden. Thompson. A scramble at centre half forward. Steve McPherson out wide. Malin. He's got a paddock in front of him. He can score the goal himself. Phil Malin. Good kick. It's a barrage by Footscray at the moment. Three goals in four minutes. Trouble now. What a brilliant opening. There's a pretty excited Footscray stand as in come the Ruckman once again. Madden against Purser beats him. Harvey he kicks it straight and goes more Footscray's way. Back to centre square it goes. Purser nicely done. Look out, here comes Royal. 
Possession number 14. Steadies in centre. Beautiful left foot. It'll be through. It'll be through. You can't do much better than that. Well, Brian Royal, you've done some brilliant things today, but that's the best of them. And that's four goals in just over five minutes. The goal kickers have been Bahaja, Beasley, Malin, and now Royal. And that was Brian Royal's second goal. The Bombers have got to do something to arrest this, otherwise they're heading for their first defeat of the season. Malin, well caught by Madden, holding the ball. Good tackle by Simon Madden. Decked him, poleaxed him. Madden playing on forward of the mark. Umpire Soares comes back and says, have it again. Well, it's 77 to 44 after Footscray led back to Essendon uh, by five points. Or Footscray by nine points at half time. Watson. Good pass. Danaher. Not quite. Harvey. Swamped. Balls fills free. Baxter. Shrugs off a tackle well. Smothered by Watson. Elshaw. Caught by Hardy. Play on, says the umpire. It goes to Williams. Offline, out of bounds on the full. Ooh, wonderful tackling by Footscray. They're full of confidence and full of running at this stage. Long kick down by Purser. Hawkins. A superb leap. Nice recovery, Wallace been brilliant, and here's another brilliant one in Royal. Oh, he beat a padding foot. Now he'll kick it out, he'll hit it out to Ryan Corden. To cross to Malin. Having a lovely time, the Footscray boys. Out to Andrew Purser. Purser will have a shot for goal. And Purser will go. Oh, it was beautifully done. They are running rings around. goals in about seven and a half minutes. Essendon won last year's grand final, being four goals down at three-quarter time. But here, they're 39 points down in the opening eight minutes of the third quarter. This will test their character. Persa, Swamped, Ezard, chance for Baker. Hawker. Look at the pressure by the Footscray players. Back to Baker. Harvey, good pass by Baker. Essendon haven't been forward of the centre for the quarter. Long kick by Harvey. Punched away by Kennedy is a good one. Worth a kick to Cordy. Well played, Brian Cordy. But off the ground, Williams. Chance for Essendon here. Vanderhaar. No mark. Elshaw there as well. And a ball up right in front of goal. And the applause from the Footscray supporters nearly as loud as for their five goals. Purser down, band a half five foot, Purser in the centre of things too, he's tackled by Elshaw. Another bounce. Brian Cordy in the hands of the trainers. Yes, really, really in trouble. Vanderhaar out wide, Elshaw shoots for goal, hooks it, and missed it. And Brian Cordy coming off now, really in trouble. Bad luck has played well. About to be replaced by their star recruit, all Australian Alan Daniels, who had a very quiet first half. Started the second half on the bench. Here's another all Australian, Brad Hardy, who started the game on the bench. About to kick in. Somebody sampled the football. A new one coming onto the ground. 
professional throw, that one. Professional American throw. Gridiron job, wasn't it? There's a fight on behind play. Darren Williams having a bit of a go. And I think it's uh, a free kick to Footscray against Williams to Rod McPherson. McPherson from centre half back towards the wing. Sewell. Shepherding by Daniels. Oh, he didn't really get rid of Walsh too well. Great hand pass. Sewell to Purser. Purser. 40 metre kick. Bamblett in front. Spills to Royal. Malin outside him. Royal's cutting them to pieces. Well played, Ryan Royal. But he was under pressure when he kicked. And the ball out of play in the forward pot. Chris, there's no better row from the league than this little nuggety man from Bensdale. That was his 14th kick. Beasley and Merritt on the ball now. In comes Bamblett again. Bamblett over Budgie's, uh, Bahaja's head. Bahaja pushed. Picked up by Daniels. Daniels' kick is smothered. Watson goes after it and Shepherds. Well, good tackle, Wallace. Wallace fights for desperately. And in comes McLean. McLean down to Simon Beasley. Up he goes. Over the back is Donnell. Donnell will be caught. No, he breaks away nicely. And kicks it straight to Fitzgerald. And Doug Hawkins says thank you. He's not without a chance of kicking. I was going to say Hawkins has a brilliant kick. He's not really without a chance to poke double poke as Daniels comes off now as interchange again. Brian Cordy on, so he recovered very quickly. Hawkins, it is a beautiful kick. Up they go, Merritt was hands there first. Clark is with the ball, caught. Goal, Steve McPherson. Touched. Touched. Hawker in the back pocket. Essendon have scored just one behind in this quarter. And Footscray, five goals, two. Five goals, one. Harvey, centre wing. To centre half forward. No height there. Elshaw went up. And interfered. And the free kick to Rod McPherson. Rod McPherson. Rod McPherson doing pretty well in these last few moments. His ninth kick for the match. Jimmy Edmund, all oh, good leap, good mark. If ever there's one token under pressure, that was one. Here comes the handsome captain. And he looks for the full forward Beasley. Up he goes. He's got long arms as this fellow. He's really got long arms. And the stand has come to life in a magnificent first few minutes of this third term there's 14 minutes gone and Footscray have added five goals and here's Beasley indicating he thinks he can make the distance he'll need to come in pretty close to the man in the mark and maximize his opportunities he's a long way out a good 70 meters it's a beautiful kick but just off direction just through for one behind his tally for the day one goal four Again, Essendon, the short pass in to Merritt. To centre-half back, Watson. Wallace has led him a merry dance in the centre. Tim Watson breaks away this time. Short pass, Heard. Oh, he almost bobbled that. They've gained a lot of ground, Essendon, after quite a few possessions. Heard's kick, 40 metres. Almost to Baker. Williams swamped, pushed in the back against Bahagia. Free kick, Darren Williams. Williams out wide towards Hawker. Hawker, half forward flank, which he's been so often behind. Uh, out to Elshaw. Great spoil, Purser. A brilliant spoil. McLean did it brilliantly. And will take the free kick anyhow. It's Essendon's great, I think. Well, something happened. He's paid away from McLean, I'd suggest. He ruled it McLean. I think he signalled to McLean that he pushed Baker in the face. And Baker's to get a free kick right in front at centre half forward. McLean coming up to have a word with the umpire, asking what was that all about. Strange one. McLean in possession, just fending him off, got him in the face. Seventh kick to Leon Baker. He's been pretty quiet. And I think he's 
missed. He has. Well, that was a charity free. He should have got the goal. Rick Kennedy short to Purser, who's been a giant. A giant in achievement. He's been pretty much so in frame as well. Out wide looking for Stephen McPherson. McPherson handles beautifully. There's a well tackled there by Donnell. Back it comes towards McPherson. Here's Elshaw. Elshaw looks for a hand pass to Harvey. And there's Footscray players tackling everywhere. Picked up there by Bahaja. Back it goes and across. Oh, well intercepted there by Estes Donnell. And down to the ground it comes to be bounced. Strange that Essendon should have Madden off the ground at the start of this third quarter, but he looks like he's about to come on. And it's uh, this period of 10 minutes where Essendon may have been buried for good today. A real scramble on the outer wing. Eventually, Donnell. And he was leg. And that guy said hi. Well, I think it was six of one, half a dozen of the other. There were men coming from everywhere. Further hand pass to Danaher. Long kick to full forward. Nobody there for Essendon. Comfortable mark to uh, Kennedy. Weston's on the forward line as he did in the grand final. Down the defence. Wallace from the wing. Royal in front. Oh, terrific. Wallace and Royal combining once more. Look at that. Bahaja. Still budging. But he tapped it straight to Danaher. In comes Danaher again. He's got three to one against him and Royal's one of them. He'll kick it long, doesn't manage. He tried to kick it long, but kicked it badly. And if there is a blemish in this brilliant nugget into the Rovers game, I guess it is his long kicking. But his 15th kick wasn't a good one, but he's been absolutely magnificent. Madden's back on the ground, at full forward for Essendon. Clark out of defence. Oh, overrun by Sewell. Goes to Purser. In front, 40 metres out, short pass to McPherson. He was blocked to his path for the ball. McLean well played. Well played, Michael McLean. A snap back. Spoiled by Clark. Budgie right in front. 35 metres. Smothered by Williams. Goes to Donnell. Williams again, well played. Williams long. Over Brian Cordy. In comes Harvey. Misses what he should have taken. Gets it out towards Watson. Watson will be gathered in by Hawkins. Dodges him. Steadies and can give it to Baker. Baker takes it. Just. Baker about centre wing, but they're not gaining much distance with all this short stuff. Out wide it goes. Nice lead. Well taken, Paul Weston. Weston now. Down towards the pocket. And a great ball, Kennedy. He thumps it away from Ezard. And Kennedy follows on. And he's been a brilliant player since quarter time. We we'll talk about aggression at the football. And Footscray certainly have it today. Perhaps Essendon have set the pace, certainly in the last 12 months, in the aggression at the ball, and Footscray have beaten them at their own game today. Pace by Ezai, skirting around the boundary line. He goes for goal, but misses a behind. The Bombers still looking for their first goal of the quarter. They've kicked three behinds. Rick Kennedy. Purse is always the target. What a good target he is, too. Over the back it goes to the running Watson. Across it goes to Williams. Williams back towards Hurd. Hurd downfield looking for Bacon. Nobody home. Just to Rick Kennedy takes another one out to Brad Hardy for his first kick. Hardy on half back flat. Steadies and kicks it nicely down to Malin. Malin looking pretty accomplished. Kick one lovely goal. Malin hugs the boundary line, hugs it too much and kicks it over the line out of bounds. That was very wasteful for him. Footscray 12-13, Essendon 6-11, 85 plays 47, 38 points the difference. It's a great pass by Folds, finding Baker inside half forward. Madden in the goal square, looking for a bit of height on the kick. It's in that direction. Big leap but no mark. More backstop. And Essendon was 6 8 at half time. They're now only 6 11. Out wide it goes, and off we come again with Brian Cordy. On a weekend coming on the ground. Brad Hardy off after one kick. A brief throw. And Footscray in attack with Steve Wallace, about centre wing position. 
He's beaten Watson, which is a big assignment. Wallace down towards centre half forward, looking for the captain. Over the back, it's punched down by Merritt to Williams. Williams out to the flank, and nobody with Baker. Baker will give it to Weston, though he's changed his mind and boots it out wide, looking for Madden. Madden up, but too late on the scene. And the kick wasn't deep enough, but taken by Persa. Andrew Persa, centre half back. We've played 22 minutes in the third quarter. 12 kick for Persa. The ball goes to Malin, pass to Sewell. Good use of the body against Danaher. That's no mean feat. A lead by Beasley. Through his fingertips, at the back, Bamblet and Bahaja. Goes to Williams, kick close to the boundary line. And the ball bounces out. No, it doesn't. Oh, Hawker keeps it in. Brilliant play by Glenn Hawker. Everyone else thought it was out. High to centre half forward, Vanderhaar. He hasn't been mobile or at all effective in the air today, Paul Vanderhaar. Started the season starring. Hawkins, blocked by Hurd. Shane Hurd, Madden offers the lead. He's the only one there. Good mark. He ran into space, doubling back behind Kennedy. This should be Essendon's first goal of the quarter at the 23-minute mark. Well, they went goalless in the last quarter last week against Collingwood. Not really the form that you'd expect from the Premiership team. Simon Madden coming up for his 10th kick. They trail by 38, still more than five goals deficit, even if he kicks this. Oh, he's missed it. Out of bounds, four from 25 metres, Simon Madden. Oh, what a pathetic kick. The man who's top distance goal kicking, that is not up to standing. Daniels, tackled by Van der Haar, gets away from him. Left puts it out to the winning Hawkins. Hawkins in front, what glorious ball skills. Turns and twists. He'll left foot it towards and I hand pass it to Daniels again. That's good running. Daniels left foots it downfield, over Foles, head to Bamblett. Bamblett didn't hold it. Nobody can hold it underneath all that. And it'll be bounced. Footscray 85, Essendon 47. How invincible are Essendon this season after all? Tap in by Merritt, goes to Watson on hands and knees. Chopped off by Daniels, well done. Out of bounds again. About to tick into time on third quarter. Merritt again, but couldn't get it clear. Solid tackle that. Held but not in possession. And the free kick puts Gray's way. Steve McPherson. McPherson's kick is a very long one. Danaher jumping too early today. Chance for Foles. Didn't do very well. He finds it might take a free kick. He will. Walsh has gone to full back for Essendon. Danaher centre half back. Centre half forward is Weston, who played brilliantly at full back earlier. Now it goes to Ezard. In front, Van der Haar. Able to get where the ball is today as the flying Dutchman. That's his fourth kick out by ball Madden up above the pack. Nice and scouting by Malin. Not to sell to kick to, but Jim Edmonds eventually gives him the lead. And he tries a short one to him, which is so well delivered. And a very, very weary looking opponent in Gary Fox. Centering kick to Daniels. Malin going past for another possession. Beasley leading too early perhaps Daniels a wobbler off the side of the boot McPherson almost a great mark Steve McPherson Sewell a fumble by Royal this time which is rare Thompson out in front of Ezard and wide open for Essendon now a lead by Weston at centre half forward Cordy his opponent well Weston did well when he went there in the last quarter in the grand final he needs to be brilliant in this game if the Bombers are to win they need to pull out something special. Madden's the target again, and a good target is. Can't hold it. Daniels lurking in front of the pack. Rose well. Sends it long. Roger Merritt has played badly. Holds the chest bar. And hand passes atrociously. Well played for Harger, but he doesn't get away. That's bad luck for Harger. It was a brilliant interception. 
And there's an Eston player down there, really down there, Frank Dunnell. And whilst all that's going on, there's a free kick and it's to go to the box. I thought Dunnell went down in, that, in the first crunch in that pack, and yet uh, the free kick wasn't paid for another 20 seconds or so. Eventually with Thompson through folds. Weston again. Recovery by Madden needed. Kennedy's on him. Baxter. Well done, Williams, but he can't get it clear. Ronald Wigan on all fours, and the umpire calls for it and will ball it up. Footscray's quarter, it's looking like Footscray's game. Magnificent quarter. Five goals in the first seven and a half minutes of play. And Footscray once again. Off goes Roy, off they go. Rod McPherson boots it down for a lovely kick to Hardy. And Hardy a very, very good mark. Brad Hardy. Out wide, Beasley made a lovely lead. Beautiful pass. Oh, that was a clever lead. And Walsh was completely bamboozled by his... Uh, he, he fainted, then went the other way. And I spell F-E-I-N-T. Lovely football by Simon Beasley. That's his sixth mark. And despite the fact that uh, he's kicked one four, he's still been a dangerous spearhead particularly in this third term, in the third term revival by the Bulldogs. Beasley's now only about 30-odd metres out from goal. The angle is slight, the goal is kicked. Well done, Simon Beasley. Richland is on. 